All right, the struggles of recording a video in fucking December in Sweden is that it's there's no daylight at all. It goes from darkness to not so darkness to back to darkness. So I'm out on the balcony, freezing my ass off. Look at this shit. This is Sweden, right? You would have probably expected more snow. Look at that. There's snow. Mainly, it's just cold as balls. Um, let's head inside. Let's check out the setup. This is the doorway into the office. The uh, Ethernet cable goes through the wall, which my dad conveniently drilled for me because I uh, don't know how to operate power tools and I probably shouldn't. All right, so first up, we have the LED panels. We have a bigger one. This is called the CNT504, if that tells you anything or if you want to look up the model name. Make sure you do so. I'm also going to try to feature all the things I'm talking about. Uh, on the screen. So for you guys that do want to look out, uh, look after, or uh, look up these things, uh, you can do so. Uh, and I will try to have links in the info tab below. Uh, but these are two of the LED panels. These are what's going to bring in the light. This is literally what makes my forehead look so sweaty, even though in reality it's not as sweaty. So check those out. Um, we got curtains, all right? People have been asking about this when I post pictures. Uh, curtains are there to kind of pick up noise, but I need them to be thicker, so I need to. I need to put something on this wall, I need to put something on this wall, but I don't really want to cover up the, the New York uh, the city print, yeah? It obviously echoes, and obviously the ceiling is all but just um, fucking cement and con concrete, so... Um, a lot of noise is gonna bounce around, unfortunately. Um, but with the curtains, the whole point is to make sound bounce less. But, need to make them thicker. Um, yeah, these two, one smaller, one more bigger one. Why I went with LED is because they don't produce any heat. Uh, a lot of my Twitch friends and YouTube friends, they all have um, the bulbs, which I feel like maybe produces a nicer light, but they, with the heat, man, I, it get, during summer, it gets so fucking hot here, so I'd rather just not. All right, next up, we have the camcorder that's making my sweaty forehead look so sweaty. Uh, this is the Canyon Allegra FHJ30, as you can see right there. Um, and this camcorder is a beauty. You have a mini HDMI going into a capture card. Uh, it does the work. That's obviously on a tripod. All right, let's start from the left. This is my laptop from Asus. This is what I use for all my on-the-fly editing and uploading, etc. Whenever I'm traveling, I have this baby with me. Um, so if I'm at a, um, I don't know, if I'm at TwitchCon, PAX Prime, whatever the event might be, DreamHack, uh, you can be damn sure I have this with me. Uh, for my on-to-go stuff. If we move to the left, we have our first Asus monitor, and this is, I don't know, this is like your generic 60 hertz uh, monitor that I just got for the simple fact that I wanted to have a second monitor without having to shell out uh, serious money for it. Now this thing in the middle, I don't know if you can see this screen comparison right there. I hope the light isn't too in your face. But yes, I have upgraded to three monitors now. Uh, and this is the main one. This is my new main one. I'm not sure if I can focus in on that. Uh, but this is the Acer Predator. I'm not sure on the full name of this monitor, but I'm gonna have it up on screen um, for you guys. But at this moment in time, I don't know. It's like super long, it ends with HU. That's all I know. Uh, it's 165 hertz, you can overclock it to that. Uh, you can have, what is it, 2500 by something in resolution. But I've actually, I'm doing 144 at 1080p, and a lot of people ask me, why do you do this, Joel? And that is because, oops, that is because I, in H1C1, which is like the main game I play right now, I could not get G-Sync to get, deliver smooth frames. So I was like, you know what, we're bumping it down to 1080p. And also I was launching all kinds of other games, and I have all, I moved all my stuff. So I have Twitch chat over here, OBS preview window here, my stream labels over here. And, and every time I started a game in the massive resolution that is 2500 by whatever, uh, everything just started jumping around and off screen. Like the things were jumping off screen, like I couldn't see my chat. And that happened every time I tabbed in the game, every time I started a game. So I was like, it's not worth it. And OBS started crashing a lot when I had uh, when I had those games that are resolution. Uh, so I decided to bump it down. So for you guys that are like, why would you buy this monitor and do 1080p, Joel, you, I hate you. Um, granted, all right, I'll take it, but uh, this is smoother for me. I'm used to 1080p, and I usually don't game over that resolution anyways. And, you know, you can potentially save your graphics card uh, on some load uh, as well. All right, so the Ace of Predator monitor is right there. This is my new primary one. Uh, once again, not using the 165 hertz. Uh, we're moving over right over to my uh, right here. This is my old primary monitor. This is the BenQ. Ooh, XL2410T or something like that. This is 144 hertz. This is a beautiful looking monitor, but it does not have G-Sync. This monitor does have G-Sync. Did I mention that? This monitor does have G-Sync. That's the only reason I bought it. Uh, so I want G-Sync to work 
properly and on 1080p it did. So uh, BenQ, name is on your screen. This is my old primary one. So we literally have, we have an Asus, we have an Acer, and we have a BenQ. Uh, this makes no sense. For people that like, they talk about symmetry and they're like, man, everything needs to be like perfect. Um, yep. I have a 27 here, I have a 24, and I have a 24. So um, it is what it is, boys, it is what it is. All right, so if we go a little bit to our left, we have our mic situation here, and this is the Rode Procaster mic. This is a condenser mic. We have a mic boom arm uh, that goes in between monitor, uh, I guess monitor one and two, or two and three, depending on how you want to count it. This mic has been with me for a while. I really, really dig this mic and what it can offer. Uh, obviously, this is all plugged in to the mixer table, uh, and to be honest with you, this looks way more advanced. I know some of you guys are gonna be like, holy shit, this is one serious setup. Um, all I use for this is literally these two buttons. Unmute, mute. I do that, and I also have some cool ass sound effects up here. I turn this knob right here, and now I have like a church effect. Uh, it has upwards of 16 effects, this bad boy. Uh, but I only use, I only use number one, which is like the church. So whenever you hear me go, full on church mode, uh, you know that that is the knob. The orange one right there, that's the one I pull to make it happen. Now if we move away from the mixer table, all the way further right, we have two game consoles. We have the PS4, uh, this is the Destiny Edition, and furthermore, we have the Xbox One. Um, you might say, Orb, you're a PC gamer, these never get any uses. Well, you probably haven't been in the stream, right? On the Xbox One, we're playing all kinds of Trivial Pursuit. On the PS4, we're playing all kinds of, uh, other games, no, to be fair, those don't get uh, a lot of uses, but um, I don't know, they're here, they're ready for games. Some of the games we do play on there, and if new games come out, we tend to play them. We play a little bit of Call of Duty before it released on PC. So, you know, these are kind of just awaiting for games to come out. Maybe games that are PS4 exclusive, like The Last of Us, which was a fantastic title. I can't wait for The Last of Us 2. Uh, over here, we have a very kawaii picture. I look like, what is that hair though? I don't know what that hair is, but that is like, I look at that sometimes and I, Think back to my younger days. I was maybe like 29 in this photo. Man, getting old, boys, getting old. I right, am from the photo here. I'm moving over. I'm gonna show you my two biggest fans. Eh? Huh? Eh? I swear to God, every set of video I make the same joke. I swear to God, every set of video I make the same joke. Look how look how dirty that is, though. Can we talk about that for a second? Look how dirty. That is, but yeah, if you're ever wondering, these are the fans that are keeping me warm at warm summer nights, just like um, these. Obviously, one of the main things with my setup is the chair I'm sitting in. This is the DX Racer. This is the King series, and this bad boy is massive, right? This bad boy is massive. This is supposed to hold like two of me, I think, uh, in terms of weight, uh, but it is really comfortable. And I cannot stress, if you ever buy a DX Racer chair or my Onyx or whatever the case might be, need for seat, Use the lumbar support pillow that you have down here, guys. Use this pillow. It's gonna save your fucking posture, right? Even if you're playing in a, in a non-gaming chair, right? Non-gaming chair. Look into just getting a pillow for your lower back to help with your posture. It's so good. Uh, I never, listen, my first DX Racer I bought, I never used this pillow. I never thought I needed it. This has Max Series, by the way. King Series, Max Series is the same thing. But I bought my first DX Racer, I never thought I needed this thing. And then I started using it, and it's the best thing ever. So, moving away from all the game consoles to my peripherals, I'm gonna run by these real quick. Obviously, names are gonna be on the screen. We got the mouse pad, uh, and of course, the neon. I don't have it matching currently. I don't have it matching. Uh, this, obviously, the ultimate only goes to green, unfortunately. Uh, so I can't really change that. Uh, I love the ultimate feel a little bit more than I did the normal black with a chroma. Um, so that's why I went with the ultimate. But these are the peripherals we're rocking. Of course, the headset that you see in every stream uh, and every video is the Overwatch um, headset or the Overwatch Limited Edition uh, Manowar Tournament Edition. They're dope, they're really cool. Uh, furthermore, a little bit up here, if you can see these two controls. The left one is for the neon that I'm gonna turn on in a second behind me, and the right one is for the camcorder. So if you ever see me do an epic zoom in, um, the right one is where it's at. If you ever watch me play Pokemon, the right one is also my modded battery pack. Just kind of an inside thing for the people that watch the Pokemon stuff we've done. But I told you guys I was gonna show you the neon, so we go on, boom. 
and we have a neon strip at the back. Obviously now we have a lot of stuff covering it, so it's not gonna shine as bright. All right, so down here, I'm actually using the tripod now, and I'm using my phone as a light because it's so damn dark down here. Uh, this is my rig, guys, all right? There's many like it, but this one is mine. This is what powers the stream, uh, the YouTube videos, etc. And the newest addition is what's center of your screen. It's a, it is the MSI GTX 1070. I partnered up, uh, and I'm now sponsored by MSI. Uh, so they sent me this cool little gift, a 1070. You know, I'm not gonna say no to that. They sent it my way. And two things I love about this. First off, the overclock mode. If we go up to the MSI gaming app, which I can show you here in a second. I can actually record some after and show you so I don't have to move the camera. With one click of a button, from gaming mode into OC, uh, overclock mode, by a simple click of a button, I don't have to walk into BIOS. Through the MSI gaming app, I can really just do it quick, easy, uh, and without any hassle, uh, to be honest with you. Because I will break things. I will break things so the smoother and easier you can make it for me uh, to overclock my card, uh, I'm gonna take that every step of the way. The other thing that is cool with this card is the LED and this is what I want to show you. This is why I have the camera positioned like it is. So right now we have like a greenish color, right? Let's bump it up. Let's change to blue. Click apply. And with a click of a button, it is now blue. Let's change it, let's drag it up to red, click apply, boom, click of a button, it is now red. So you can customize whatever LED you want for your graphics card. Now it's like back to green. Let's see if we can get like a yellowish color. So you can customize that after obviously whatever you want. So if you want a specific color to color coordinate inside your rig, uh, this is just one quick easy way. Once again, through the Amazon Gaming app, um, two clicks and it's done. But that is going to be it for this setup video, my friends. I hope you guys have enjoyed a little look into the updated setup of 2016 going into 2017. If you find yourself watching for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. It is completely 100% free for now. So get in while you can. If you like the video, go ahead and like it. Uh, if you dislike the video, give it a fat dislike. Just fat, the fattest of dislikes. But that is going to be it, my friends. Thank you all one last time. I will catch you guys in the next one. Later. Bye-bye.